Excellent, right. Good. Oh, it's on. Excellent. <laughs> Good afternoon. Thank you very much for having us along. Um, yeah, we're old dirty bastards. Um, so I guess the theme is sci the scientific angle. So I guess let's talk about the scientific angle of the brass instruments. Because um, <laughs> we're a bit different to all the other instruments. Like what makes us stand out is that every, in everything, every sound has to be made through a vibration. But on a brass instrument, there is nothing that will make the vibration for you. If like on the drums, like the cymbals will vibrate, the skins on the drums will vibrate. If you play a saxophone, there's a reed that goes in your mouth. When you blow over it at the right angle, that makes the vibration for you. If you play a guitar, the strings do the vibrating. But on this, on these instruments, there is nothing. So we have to make the vibration ourselves using our lips. Seb, so would you like to demonstrate? Oh, the lips? <laughs> yeah, just your lips. <laughs> Beautiful. There you go. So that's what we have to do. And when you stick it into the instrument, you get the sound which is very nice, okay? And what will make um, the changing of the pitch, um, what will make it change is you have to change the speed, okay? So if you make the vibration quicker, the sound goes up. And if he slows it down, vice versa, it gets lower. Beautiful, okay? But <laughs> that was lovely, thank you, Sam. Um, but obviously then there's another variable in there as well um, because he's only got a certain pattern of notes just by changing the speed of his vibration. So the other variable is that you have to increase the length of tubing that is in front of you because you could just buzz into your mouthpiece and you can play anything you like on that because there's nothing in your way. But as soon as you put this length of tubing in your way, then you've got barriers. So what's going to help um, on the trumpet? Well, on the trombone is very obvious because all you have to do is move the tube out and the notes go lower. <laughs> Very simple, and then you can change the speed and the pitch of the vibration goes, oh, sorry, the speed um, and the vibration, so you go up and down. On the trumpet, it's not quite so easy. When you add in a valve, he has this small piece of tubing connected to it, so the instrument gets longer, the sound goes down, and then if you add in different combinations, if you add in this one here, the tube is even bigger, so it gets even lower. And then if you do combinations of two valves at a time, and if you did all three at a time, you get even lower. So the instrument's at its biggest when all valves are deployed, and you get the lowest sounds you can. And that's basically how they work. It's very simple. It's just all about making the tube bigger and the vibrations faster or slower to what you need. Um, so I'm going to stop waffling on now, I think. <laughs> Thank you very much. There you go. There is our scientific angle on the brass instrument. And we're going to... Uh, <laughs> play you some more songs and then we will get out of the way for the next speaker. So thank you very much. Are we ready? <laughs> 